Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I got this delivered today and it's from Glam Raider. Um, it's a mystery box. So they've got the $45 one, $110 one and $195 one. Um, I'm broke as, so I had to get the $45 one. I'm still kicking myself that I didn't get the $110, but... Do I want to be extra broker or whatever? And plus my afterpay is like boom, up there. It's like gotta stop. It's gotta stop doing it. But they've got the afterpay sale on next week or the week after. And I actually need to get to like major things I really need. So hopefully my afterpay is like all the way down there. If not, I oh will. Anyway, so it comes in a pink box. Um, this one is, I calculated it all together and it was $96 it's for $45. So I already, yeah, I already opened these because I needed to know how much it cost. So I got the Ofra one. Um, this one was called, I don't know, but we will get there. And then I got the I Love Heart Revolution, the Highlight and Illuminated Duo. Um, I got the liner from Makeup Revolution, um, Wet n Wild lipstick, um, Wet n Wild ombre blush, and I got the BH Cosmetics. So it comes out like this. It's a 21 eye color eyeshadow highlighter and contour palette, and it comes out like this. Wow. Um, this one was $34 on Glam Radar. So yeah, I'm pretty keen to test all these out and hopefully they are really good. So if you want to do that, keep on watching and do not forget to give this video a like and a subscribe. So we're going to go into BH Cosmetics. Um, it's called It's My Array Array. And we are going to go in with the eyeshadow and we are going to go into... Um, uh, we'll go into Pancake first. So with Pancake, I am just going to use that as my transition shade. And just blend that all over the eye. In the shade um, Sunset that's right here and I'm just going to put that on the crease Friday and put that in the same crease just mixing it up so I'm gonna go back in with the brush go back into sunset and just come back and blend it all so, now I'm going to grab a little bit of Connie and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. So now we're going to do a cut crease. Just grabbing some concealer and just cutting it out. I'm going to grab um, Tiffany and just put where I've done the cut crease.
clean um, blending brush and just blend it all together. Cosmetics, it's it's a Ray Ray palette. I think like there is quite a lot of fallout. Like I've already tried to sweep it off, and it's not coming off. I'd have to come back and like conceal it sort of thing. Um, the colors were like buildable, so that's really really good because you don't want eyeshadow. That's just like way 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 too much. Um, other than that, I think they're really great, good to blend, colours are good, I have nothing negative to say except there's heaps and heaps of fallout. To the Revolution um, eyeliner, it says that it's smudge proof and waterproof. I'm going to test that theory out. I'm going to test that theory out. Um, so I want to know how this goes as a liner. I better not stuff this up. Not the best. I just literally just put the wing on and it was very, very hard. Um, I don't know if it's the shadow, but I'm going to try it. It might be the felt. Let's look at that. At a bendy. It's, it's, yeah, it's very bendy. I don't know if that's meant to be like a flexible sort of thing. Felt tip liner. No, intense black felt tip liner. Waterproof, spongeproof. Okay, well, this is really, really rough. We will see if it is waterproof. I will do that at the end of this video though. With the BH Ray Ray Ray. Ray Ray Ray. It's Ray Ray. Um, I'm going to go in with the mocha colour. Um, see how that turns out. Oh well. Look. At the fallout. There's a lot. By the way, this brush is actually hard. This is just a cheap brush. Okay, maybe I should go the darker colour. Okay. We'll try the darker colour on this side. That's too light. Okay. And a contour palette. Color and contour palette. It looks. It doesn't suit my skin. But I'm, I'm going to try it anyway. Even if it does not. I just feel like I have mud on my face. That's what it feels like to me. I'm sorry, but I might not be working this right or something. What if I just use a beauty blender? No, that looks like absolute pure shit. I'm sorry, but that's too dark for me and the other one's too light. I don't like it. Sorry, but I don't. Okay, so we're going to go with the highlighter. We will go in with Radiant. Hope this is good. 
Can you see it? I need a like. There's the glow. It's there. It's good. The glow is good. Okay, I'm not disappointed about that. I'm so happy. Okay, that's the only good thing about that. I'm going to grab a little sand brush. This is just an owl brush. And I'm going to grab, I don't know, I'll try Angel that's right there. And put that above the brow bone. Wait, that's really good. You can see that. That's so good. Okay. I'm done with this palette. Now we are going to move on. Oh, there's a highlight and illuminated duo here. You can even try that out. We will try it out. So that's what it looks like, and that one. Do it for okay. Too Faced. That would be interesting. So I'm assuming this is that. I'm going to put this here. And um, I think that's a blush. Yeah, no, it's, it works. It really works. That's. I should tell you which side. That's this side, and this one. You should probably see it, but you. I think you can see it. I don't know. There's two highlighters there. Maybe I should put it in a different zone. I won't put it. I'll just put it here. Oh my god, that's pink. You can't see that on camera, but that's pink has. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there it is. It's pink. I'm assuming it's a like a, a blush. Like a blush highlighter. So, I've got to stop saying so. I say so quite a lot. And it's very frustrating when I edit the videos. So I'm like, so, so. Okay, okay. Um, can you just shut up, please? Seriously. Wild ombre blush. Oh, I hope this is good. Maybe I should just try it on this side. All I'm getting is. Highlighter. I'm only getting a highlighter version. Maybe if I just go to the bottom. Hmm. I'm seeing the blush, but I don't know if that's from the lamb. This one, so I have to give it another fair shot before I actually know. Um, so we're up to lipsticks, and I'm gonna use this Ofra one because I've never owned Ofra. So there's this purple shade, it's called Honolulu. Did I even say that right? That's embarrassing. Okay, whatever, whatever, really. I hope this is good than what I think it is.
lipstick on the teeth. I don't like lipstick that does that, it's really annoying. It smells good, that's what it smells like. It's smooth, it's creamy. Does it come off? Yep, it comes off. Alrighty then. With the wet and wild one, and what's this called? Satin sheets. This is very pretty. It's got like that nice little glow that's there. The dupla feels weird, like it sits on your lips like really nice. In my okay, so we in my bathroom and I wanna see if this is smudge proof. It is. Is it? It's just the eyeshadow. I'm gonna double check in the that's smudge proof, that's only because of the eyeshadow. Let's jump in the shower and see if it's actually waterproof. Okay, we're in the shower. Oh, I'm going to be ready for this. Uh, I promise probably never hit me because I have the video camera in the shower. I'll fuck up, whatever. Let's try. Oh wow, okay, it's coming off. It's coming off. Oh my god, look. <laughs> Waterproof my ass. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna finish having a shower and get rid of this stupid, awful makeup. Um, yeah, have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.